Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gamer Gents Duo Podcast numero 12. Last week, I did not do the intro fully at all. Like, <laughs> we were done with our intro, like, 45 minutes into the podcast. So we're getting it all out onto the table, right here and right now. I am one of your hosts, TBCX, but you can call me Teddy. I have with me the man of the hour. <laughs> Every week, uh, Eric <laughs> the man of The man of the <laughs> annual... The man of the uh, weekly thing. Yeah, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> um, yeah, Eric Bailey, Legend PVM. <clears throat> boom. Yep. He's the man of the week. <laughs> Every week. So. <laughs> no guest yet. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 still no guest because Andrew doesn't have a computer, Ryan doesn't have a computer, and Nate doesn't Nate talk doesn't to like us anymore. Talk to us. <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, I saw him open H1Z1, and I was like, should I mm. say something? And then I was like, no. I promised I wouldn't say anything. (laughs) Done. Should like join his game and murder him. (laughs) I don't even have H one Z one of the an X. But I wish. But uh yeah. So the intro normally consists of us introducing ourselves. This is a entertainment podcast. We normally cover stuff like the main stuff is PlayStation, Destiny, gaming news, movie news, TV news, comic news. Entertainment in general, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I I said entertainment in general, and then I went over the specifics of what we usually do. We like in the that in that order. Like normally we talk about a lot of PlayStation stuff and then secondly a lot of sure. Destiny stuff and then all the rest falls into place. And but, sometimes um, we get, like off track. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes we talk about Eric's applesauce habits, yes. you know? That happens a lot because True. he has some he has some crazy applesauce habits. Dude, I told my mom about applesauce and spaghetti. That's a thing he does, by the way, people. And yeah. uh, <laughs> she was like, Wait, what? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. <laughs> but see it wait, okay. I wanna clarify something because I thought of this in the past week. Do you put applesauce on just spaghetti noodles or spaghetti? Okay, here here it is. Okay. Right. No, I don't know. Here, let me let me ask you a question first. I'm gonna okay. answer your question with a question. Funny what stuff. sauce do you use? Spaghetti sauce. Like, let me find a generic picture. No brand. Like the brand tastes know, differently. I use Prego with Italian seasoning, uh, <laughs> with spaghetti, like store bought spaghetti. And you cook it. Like, and then, look. I okay. The reason I even found that this tastes good is because I used it as a side, like all the time. And then I was like, oh well. Let's just mix it in. <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah. All right. Well. I don't know. Like, like that. That's this right here. Well, I'm not sending it, but I'm showing it, it to the people. Big. This spaghetti. It's just normal spaghetti. It's got the tomato sauce and whatever, but. I, I don't know what specific sauce we ever use. I have no idea. But, uh... Well, there's, like, you, three different types of sauces. In I have decided sauce. I that I will not discount your crazy mad scientist, you know, experiment thing. Yes. I will not discount it <laughs> until I've time. tried it. Which will probably be never, because we don't ever have applesauce, and we barely ever eat spaghetti. But, <laughs> oh. one day... I will I will look in the fridge when we're having you spaghetti probably, to see if we I have sauce. I should have like like three different plates of like weird of, stuff. Yeah. Eat, and then you try it. First, like, mm, one of your uh, famous uh, like uh, giant potatoes mixed with everything yeah. in it. I and always made you guys potatoes. <laughs> you make potatoes like every day. It seems like. Almost. Yeah. Um. Okay. We normally start off also by telling you people what we have been playing throughout the week, watching. what we've been doing, what we've been watching. That is it. So, let's see. What have I been playing? Um, I'm going to start with last Monday. I'm going to like try and go through the week to see if I missed anything. Um, Destiny. Destiny. Guacamelee. Yeah, I play Guacamelee every now and then. I try and uh, slowly work my way through the hard mode. Um, duh, duh, duh. Destiny on Tuesday, I got my second 32, so that's yeah. progress. I got um, my three 32s. It's all good. I'm happy. We, <laughs> we still haven't been able to run Crota for a second time because, yeah. like, the, the 
<laughs> like Jay Money and Fleabag, two of the people that we run it with, said that they would be on Friday, Friday night to run it again, and they weren't on Friday and they weren't on Saturday night. So, don't know what was up there, but uh, we're still waiting on them, and then we can run it one more time. Yeah. We might have to do it on Monday. What? We got tonight and tomorrow. To yeah, that. we might. We can check, like, if they're on after The Walking Dead tonight, we might be able to do it. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. Because I'd like to do some weird stuff on Monday. But, um... <laughs> some real nasty weird stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> you're like, oh no. Um, uh, Guacamelee Destiny. I Oh, I Is think... I think I'm actually almost done with Transistor. Maybe. That's Maybe. Cool. Um... I can't tell though. I really can't tell if I'm getting. It's like I seem. I feel like I'm getting close to the end because like. That level thing, the level trophy is like throwing you off. Yeah, there's a trophy that's like reached level 26, and I'm like level nine, and I'm, yes. I don't. And it, it, it takes a while to level up, so I don't know. I I assume there's some sort of new game plus mode that you go through after the game's done because I feel like I'm getting close to the end, but um. Then, Destiny, Guacamelee, Transistor. I, j- I was gonna say AC4, but I re- I didn't really do anything in AC4 in the past week. I don't think. I bought it. I've been playing it. I'm yeah, like, Eric bought it. That is. Um, I think that's it for what I've been playing. I think. No, I Dying Light too. Dying Light too. Oh, yeah, Dying of Light. course, not the sequel, but Dying Light. You know, as well. <laughs> um, yes. That feels like it's it. So, yeah. Eric, you should tell them your story. Uh, regale them with stories of glamour and glory th- th- within the battlefield. Go. <laughs> within the battlefield? What? Yes. I'm confused now. No, literally just, like, what What happened? You bought stuff. You played stuff. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I pre-ordered Uncharted 4, which One. is awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm so excited. Uh, and... I bought AC4 at the same time. Nice. Which is awesome. Great purchase. And I asked Eric, and he said, I asked him if he had enough money for the order, if he wants to buy that, like, you know, in the coming week. And he was like, yeah, I think I do. So, I do. Bam. Bam. Oh. I'm so excited for that game. I'm, like, trying not to get very excited, though, because it could just be horrible. You never know. Right. Oh, man. But, uh, the order comes out on friday wait okay what else have you been playing you played destiny did you get any more exotics this week that you need um no no okay i didn't either i didn't get anything oh actually no i did get an armor piece yeah you got got an armor piece i got light beyond nemesis i got crest of alpha luby for hunter and i also got um Lucky Raspberry from the Nightfall. So it was a good week for armor for you. Armor, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, I didn't get anything. Now that I'm thinking about it, like I got raid, I got raid armor for my yeah, warlock, and then of course no weapons, and yeah. Your weapons are gonna come harder. No weapons, to no exotic. Out. I got a couple of exotic. I think I got like two exotics that I got to shard. So that's new. Yeah. I don't even normally get extras, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, no, oh, you got some something. Some something. I got, <laughs> um, Crota gave me a No Land Beyond. Okay. Also, Eric, I know we're in the middle of podcast, but I'm oh, just right going to do it anyways. I think your uh, I think your camera is like, like tilted. Way up. Yeah, it's like way up. <laughs> you uh, might want to move it down, and you might want to check your microphone. I think it's on the Turtle Beaches. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. okay. Never mind. But, um, Destiny... Yeah, oh, well, yeah, that's of significance. I got my Warlock to 32, not just with the chest piece. I needed the chest piece or the helmet, and I got both. So now I can wear whatever exotic I want. Pretty awesome. Um, you know, that's actually happened on both of the characters that I have a 32 on now. Like, my Titan, yeah. I needed a chest piece or helmet, and I got both of them in the same run. Same with the Warlock. Hopefully it'll happen with the hunter in this upcoming week. Um, no, when we when we played um, hard mode, Vault of Glass, my warlock got all 
all four pieces. Oh yeah, you got all four run, pieces. Run. I was oh, like, dude, whoa. we would have killed for that back in the day yeah. when we needed that to be max level. Man. Imagine we're going to get all our 32s and I'm going to have to, well, it's not as big of a deal for you because you got them all super easy, but I'm going to be like waiting weeks to get this hunter one and then I'm going to finally get it and I'm going to be like, yeah, I finally got three 32s and then House of Wolves <laughs> vendor gear is going to be better than the freaking gear that I worked for. No, I think they're going to fix that. I hope so. I really hope so because that's annoying. It's yeah, really and I, they're definitely working on a different way of upgrading exotics. I think they might just uh, reset some of the nodes, like a few back. Yeah, like the last three. And make them harder. It makes them harder to upgrade. I don't want them to be harder to upgrade. I'd be okay with resetting the last uh, three nodes, though. I'd be down with that. And it costs less. It yeah, costs it. Less it should not cost glimmer, seven thousand glimmer. <laughs> it's yeah. dumb. Or at least make an easier way of getting glimmer. I mean. Yeah, and remove the cap. Or not remove it, but make it higher. I don't mind having a cap, but 25,000 is really low. Really low. Like, you can get... I got... I literally... Okay, I did this the other day. I, I level up exotics and whatnot and guns, and then I don't spend any glimmer and materials on it for a bit. And then I go and I farm the exclusion zone until I get the cap, and then I go and spend it all on all the armor and what right. got... Yeah, guns and all that stuff that I need to upgrade. So I went and I did that the other day. 25,000 Glimmer out the window. I think it was only two and a half exotics maxed. Yeah. Like, really? Why is that the cap? Really? I don't get it. I don't get it. There's so much about Destiny that needs to change. But it's so good at the same time. Right. Oh, man. Um. So... That is what we have been playing. Uh, I really feel like I'm missing something. Yeah. But that's all I can remember. So, yeah. Um, that's all we've been playing. Mm. What we have been watching. Uh, last Sunday, we talked to you on the podcast about uh, The Walking Dead coming back. Yes. That day, we watched it. It was awesome. I thought it was pretty good. That was pretty good. It was good. It was pretty good. It was really good. But... That was about my feelings towards it. I was just like, pretty good. Like, if it could, it could have been amazing. Yeah, I just don't. I don't really I mean, get their decision to kill it, off. It kind of reminded of Arrow when Sarah died. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it, that is exactly back. how I felt. That it was just. It was like, what? You're, you were like, uh, yeah, I'm ready for the, some Walking Dead. And it's just like, oh, by the way, spoilers for The Walking Dead. But I was just like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for it to come back. And then Tyrese is dead. And I'm like, and that was like the whole episode. This is just, oh, we're just gonna kill Tyrese. And I'm like, there was no nothing leading up to it. There's no like, um, I mean, sure, during the episode there was, but before there was no yeah, like, there signs was leading to his death. No, they like j it was so weird, and uh, he's gone. He was like, he's been there for a while. He's one of the ones that has been there and for a long time, and they just kill him in a mid-season opening. Like, I feel like he deserved a little I bit more. Than yeah, that, but. Even if he's been long uh, alive longer than uh, he, te he technically should. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get it. Yeah, but I mean, that it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad episode because of that. That it, it just seems sort of odd to me. Yeah. But it was. Still I wish good. they would have focused on him a little bit more in the yeah the previous episodes. Yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. But uh, The Walking Dead was good. It's a good premiere. The The rest of the season is probably going to be pretty insane. Um, I don't know where they're going to go, though. You know, they, they had the they had the DC thing. They had Escaping from Terminus, and now it's like, Maybe what do they have? DC. They're just, oh, yeah, they're still going to DC. Okay. Yeah. Maybe so they'll be headed, something there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that'll be cool. I'm down with that. I'm down with it. We'll see Obama. Oh, snap. What if we actually <laughs> do, like, Obama makes a... Like a guest appearance in The Walking Dead. You know, I wouldn't put that past him, to be totally honest. I would not put that past uh, him. I've got some water here, you guys. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll spread, spread the water. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was just... Everyone gets equal water. Equ oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know you've been working all day, Rick. Rick, I know you've been working all day for that water, but here, i got to take some of it. i got to give it over to here to, I don't know, Maggie. She's been sitting over here on the side. She's been watching you. She deserves this water. 
Um, <laughs> what we I don't know. Uh, um, so that's what. No, no, no. That is not what we've been watching. We've been watching a lot more. Walking Dead yeah. happened. Flash and Arrow and Let's go 100. through the days of the week. Sunday was The Walking Dead. Monday was nothing. It's nothing on Monday. Monday. At least well, for us. Uh, 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 not yet, at least for me. I'm going to be watching uh, something Better Call Saul. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. going to start watching that soon. Okay, well, Eric can bring you that news every week. Um, yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, it's the third day of the week, if you start Tuesday. on Sunday. Um, Tuesday, you have The Flash at night, and then you also have Parks and Rec. So let's start with The Flash. I'm trying to recall it. I actually don't fully remember um, it that much. Nuclear Man. Oh, yep, the Nuclear <laughs> Man. Split. So they focused on Ronnie. They focused on yeah. Robbie Amell. I feel weird that, like, his real name and then right. his character name is, like, so similar, <laughs> but it's not the same yeah. thing. So, like, I always feel like I'm mixing them up, but I'm not... So yeah, Ronnie, yeah. also, um, and Professor Stein. Yeah, they, they merged. The same person, pretty much. And right, Professor Stein really wanted to kiss Caitlin. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was the best. So in that episode, they, uh, they, they. So basically, Professor Stein, is like in Ronnie's body, yeah, and Adam Ronnie like, is also in Ronnie's body, but Professor Stein like has control of his body. So like yeah. he was talking and. Uh, Caitlin, they and so basically the whole premise is you know we've seen him throughout this season he can like you know freaking human torch just <laughs> fly around the place shoot yeah. fire um so they realized that he was pretty much a ticking time bomb he was gonna explode any second because of the two yeah. things were just too much so right. they sent him out and they were gonna either try and stop it and if it didn't work it was over but he went out into this big open field, field yeah. and uh they Caitlin split. and Barry went over there, and yeah. Caitlin was like, "Ronnie, if you're still in there, I love you." And then he kisses he kisses Caitlin, and Professor Sun's like, "That was from him." And then the, all the at the end of the episode, everyone like there's a bunch of comments, picture comments that was just like Professor Stein couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great if he did just fake it though. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. But um. Honestly, it was it was a really good Flash episode. It was like really all good. of them; they're always really yeah. good. Funny enough, uh, well, not funny enough, but uh, the uh, Facebook page, uh, everyone's like saying, "Oh no, the promo has spoilers in it." We wouldn't know that 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 Robbie is or Ronnie is still alive. Gosh dang it! Uh, because well, in the promo, it shows them. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, in that's the true. office, and they're split. I was okay with that, though. I'm okay with it because they're not going to kill off a character. They just... just Yeah. (laughs) Firestorm is like... I mean, they can. They easily do that, like, every week. Not every week, but a lot of the time they do that with, like, Villains of the Week and stuff. But, um... Yeah. They... But the the thing is, is that, like, Firestorm is, like, a superhero in the comics. So it's like, they're they're not going to... They're not going to... Right. Just take him out quickly, and even that, like, I don't know. It's a promo. You're gonna see stuff from the next episode, right? So it's kind of unavoidable. <laughs> it's kind of unavoidable. But uh, the Flash was great. Parks and Rec was hilarious. Oh, me yeah, and Eric, really yeah, the second Parks and Rec out of the two, I think it's episode eight, was honestly yeah. like my favorite episode of Parks and Rec, like ever. <laughs> it was really funny. Like all the of it was really good. Was- yeah, the the men's activist was great. <laughs> Let Ben speak. He Let just ben spoke. Speak. He's like, oh, sorry, I, I was late. The chain on my bike my broke. broke. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But, also, uh, um, that show's great. What's your name, the porn star? Oh, yeah, Brandy Max. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I star of this movie and this movie. And it's like really horrible, <laughs> perverted names. And then she's like, I support you, Leslie No. <laughs> it's just like no. No, they're just know. like uh, <laughs> I love her character. It's just random Dude, and my favorite like, Oh, I uh, love Parks and Rec. It is such I say this all the time, but it is it is a in real life cartoon. Like it is a live yeah. action cartoon. Like there there are all these crazy out there characters. Like the um 
the couple that are for like they're like Christians yeah. and they're for yeah, like, they're like straight people and whatnot. <laughs> act like completely uh, yeah the, the the female is like what you would expect but the guy is like so gay it's it's, yeah. it's insane how gay he is. he's like mm, you tell him girlfriend <laughs> it's gross oh uh, it's not gross but like it's oh funny. it's so funny it's so funny but um it's gross right. as in like how the uh how the female doesn't even yeah. know it so doesn't Wednesday. even know Wednesday was Arrow, Arrow and the 100. The 100. Arrow, well, oh yeah, the, yeah that proved. was this week. Was awesome. Arrow was freaking awesome. Arrow was yeah. like, again, with Parks and Rec, just like, just like with Parks and Rec. I mean, Arrow was like my favorite episode ever, probably. Maybe right. behind the season two finale, but man, it was good mm -hmm. like they fixed all the issues that i had with laurel, laurel they fixed better. all the dang issues i had with like everything like the fight scenes were awesome the, yeah, the, the camera, cinematography the, whoever, was they, great the cameraman like, is awesome yeah whoever was directing the camera there was really good because oh man i pulled something up um <laughs> was really good because all the shots were awesome the thea thing oh, yeah. was really cool thea finally the knows reveals, and she yeah. didn't freak out like, like oh, thanks hug. yeah like holy crap dude it was really really good i'm very happy with that it yep. it's sad that it kind of took them this far to get there though like yeah. in season two every episode was better than the last like without fail mm -hmm. so i i don't know season three is probably not going to be my favorite season sadly but uh it's still gonna be awesome. Yeah. Like from here on out, it's gonna be awesome. Get slayed this week. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Um, the 100 was also like, kind it was of, really good. Ruby kind Con. of mind blowing to be really honest. Good. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, I I did not expect the like missile. Like any what of the it. heck? Yeah, it was. I didn't expect any of this. And seriously, the 100 is a darker show than the, than well, The Walking it's Dead. Like the Walking Dead times. And yeah, I I will awesome. stand by that. I think it's darker than The Walking Dead. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So they the doctors like taking the the 47 the one by room. one, you know, taking them out and then killing them and drilling their bone in, marrow. Yeah, their bone marrow to like if you like and then you can somehow give it like a give dudes a shot. And then they're good yeah. for radiation ever. They can go outside. So, um, man, holy crap! They, I, it screwed up. They, it's yeah, screwed. they just kept coming in and like they kept the like Jasper told them to like link arms and like not let them take them. So they were like yeah. they were like trying to stand their ground and stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, and Bellamy Jasper, snuck yeah. in in a security <laughs> guard <laughs> outfit and gave Jasper a gun. Um, Jasper didn't, didn't use it very well. He shot a guy yeah. in his. You know, body armor, Shoot, like here where there's no body armor. The face. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had a helmet on the face. Literally, the only yeah. place he could have shot was like on the neck, but he didn't. Or his legs just, like... and someone kind of else beat him down. You know? Yeah, legs. Legs is also good. I love how we're discussing the best places to shoot someone. You know, it's cool. But yeah. um, we're not criminals. Just like Murphy. <laughs> I yeah. also really like the Murphy and uh and uh, Jaha thing going on. Yeah. I really it's like this whole thing. I. I don't know. It was really good. The bomb was super unexpected. Oh, yeah. My yeah, so favorite scene in that whole funny. episode. Oh, well, before I move on, I, I really hope Indra was is dead. Like, yeah. Like, just yeah. die. Just die. I, I kind of um, agree. Hope her limbs were separated in some ways. <laughs> Dang, I wasn't gonna go that far, but um, <laughs> it is a dark show. I mean, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't surprise me if we if we walk over and we're like, and they're looking at the wreckage of the bomb next week, and they see Indra like crawling into a hole or something with no legs. It choice. wouldn't surprise me. But <laughs> you're supposed to bring balance to the fold. <laughs> but um, my favorite scene, and then we'll move on from shows. My favorite scene of the week was freaking. 
the the moment where you know the doctor talks to jasper when they're taking their friends and she's like i hope you know you're incredibly special to us Mm -hmm. and then they take someone else and then later bellamy you know makes the floor leak so they they there's radiation he basically like turned off the filter or whatever so there's and their skin starts burning and they yeah, die. their skin starts burning. And they're like, oh, radiation leak. And uh, no, they were taking crazy. Jasper right when it was happening. So yeah. Jasper was like, whoa, whoa. yeah. <laughs> so like they cut as they're all like falling to the floor. And the next thing, and the next thing you see is Jasper going, come on, guys, this is our chance. And every like all the forty-seven are like running into the hall, like picking the up. They're like grab their guns and they pick up the guns. Yeah. And Miller. Harper, it's Miller, Harper, Monty, and Jasper, right? Those are the four? Yeah. Yeah. So they, they go, like, oh, my gosh, the doctor is crawling into the elevator and trying to close it to stop the radiation. Mm-hmm. And, like, the door is literally this. Yeah, and- it gets to, like, this. Yeah. And Jasper throws the, the, his arm in and, like, the uh, baton thing, the nightstick, freaking mm-hmm. Laurel Lance up in here. <laughs> throw the... um the nightstick and his arm in it and it makes like a boom sound and the elevator stops closing he's like boom and he's like and they she goes no you can't do this to us i love how i'm just reenacting a scene but it's awesome but (laughs) then and then the door separates even further and monty and miller and harper are all standing there and jasper just goes i hope you know you're incredibly special to us (laughs) and then they all are like it's just all four of them looking down on her, like yeah. super satisfied with like, themselves. And she's like, yeah, dead. And they're just like, yeah. it's great. Yep. It's great. This is the best thing. I rewatched that scene like four times. But um, <laughs> good speaking thing. of Laura Lance, I thought of this when I was joking about Laura Lance. The wow. one of the, the other awesome thing about the freaking most recent Arrow episode is that Lance mm-hmm. now knows. Oh, yeah. That Sarah. Is dead, dead. and And he didn't didn't die. He didn't die. He came close, though. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like he was going to. I felt like he was going to for a second there. But uh, yeah, Arrow's awesome. The 100s continuing to be awesome. Everything's awesome this week. I really want to see the Flash. I really want to see the end of the Reverse Flash like storyline. I want to see that happen. Next week is the time travel episode, so we're getting even closer. Um. Grodd will be they keep teasing Grodd. Um Parks and Rec will keep being great. Like yeah. it's getting better and better. Um, um Ben is running for Congress. Yeah, that's pretty big. Um and wasn't wasn't Leslie thinking about getting a job in Washington? Or am I Yeah. I think she April, was thinking Yeah. April, oh yeah, yeah, but April pulled out. So yeah. maybe I don't know. I don't know. That that'll probably if we even hear word yeah. about that that'll be like at the end of Wait, season no isn't april like trying to sign april's up for moving to washington, washington dc yeah april's moving to washington but i was thinking about leslie yeah april's going to washington for that job but yeah everything's awesome <laughs> everything is awesome yep um that is it for what we've been playing and what watching. we've been watching <laughs> and now uh. to news now to the news um, we'll go over to you, Bob, on Channel 7. And that's you, Eric. Take it away with the first news article. This is all all right. Right. Titanfall 2 will not be exclusive to just Xbox and PC. Yeah, I, dude, you know, you know what's weird about this is that we, we, we knew about this. Well, yeah, and we knew. Everyone knew about this, coming. and then they, they, it was like news this week for no reason. I don't really yeah. understand. Like, we knew about this since the launch of Titanfall 1, and maybe the developers said something about it, or I don't know. I think they, they're making, like, a formal, like, statement now. Yeah, I'm like, scrolling through this article here. Because they I'm said really something about it before, it. like, um, they said something like, it's probably not going to be exclusive. But this is them yeah. saying it will not be exclusive. Which is awesome, because honestly, I really like Titanfall. Like, I, I mm. really like it. If I can... Um, Oh, I just hope it has more depth in the next game. After this topic, uh, I have a topic of my own uh, that, that's not even a news article, and then we'll go back to the news. But, uh, yeah, Titanfall was really awesome. I played no, it for yeah. a lo- but I only played it for, like, a week because I didn't have anybody to play it with. But I played right. it for, like, a solid good two hours every night for that week, and then I was like, nobody's playing this with me. 
I got bored. <laughs> but um, it was fun. Uh, like it's really good. The gameplay of Titanfall is really, really good. solid. That's what's. That's what there I needs really to be like something that keep you there though. Yeah, like apparently they added a ladder system. You know, like every shooter needs to have. It's tw- it's freaking right. 2015. Why doesn't every shooter have a ladder system? I don't get it. But um, <laughs> it's not that hard to put in. I at least I would think. I don't know. Um, I'm looking for a quote here. This is a quote, but I can't find who it's by. In Titanfall, I'm trying to find the name. They just said, oh. Okay, according to EA CFO Blake Jorgensen, or Jorgensen, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to call him Mr. No, I'm just going to call him Blake. Um, He said, last year it was on the Xbox only. In the future, we haven't yet announced, but we'll probably have another Titanfall game. It will probably be a bigger footprint than just a single platform. I think that's a huge positive for us. So they're basically just saying, yeah, it's probably going to be on everything else. Yeah. So boom. I am honestly cool. really excited Even for it. Nintendo? <laughs> Even Nintendo. It's got to be on the 3DS. Call of Duty was, I mean, Call of Duty was on freaking the Wii U or whatever. It was. So but, you know, to be honest, I think even, like, back, like, a couple years ago when Call of Duty was in its heyday and, like, there was a Wii and a Wii U, I think the – well, not a Wii U, but there was just a Wii. I think that the Call of Duty titles on the Wii came out, like, a little bit later. Yeah. And they were still horrible. I don't know, man. Why? I, I feel bad I don't know. for. I, no, you know what? No, I don't feel bad for Nintendo. Get your crap together, Nintendo. I don't get it. Get like more, we need I, more. I really want a Wii U game, a, a Wii U system to play all the first party I, games. But that's it. it. First party. Titles. Yeah, and it's all like. I what. The um, thing is, is that bad ports and yeah, like the, the three different games. Nintendo like, doesn't support third parties barely at all. You can't yeah. just play Nintendo games. There are a lot of Nintendo games, and they're all re. That's the thing. Right. Nintendo makes a lot of really good games, but that's it on their console. Right. They don't have any other third party support, and when they right. do, it's awful. So just freaking, I don't and understand. Bad ports. I don't know. <laughs> Also, yeah, know. you know, I heard this week about something about the Wii U that I did not know at all. The what? Wii U doesn't have a trophy or achievement system at all. Interesting. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't that be in there? I, I don't understand. That's, yeah. I mean, it seems like an easy thing to put in. I don't know, but I guess it's not. But the Wii didn't have it. So apparently a lot of people thought that the Wii U would have it when they moved up. Right. And it doesn't. I don't know, Nintendo. Nintendo has a lot of a lot of issues. But I do still want a Wii U, to be totally honest. Right. Dude, I had a dream the other day that I, like, entered this sweepstakes or something. I entered this giveaway. You got Wii U. No, I got an Xbox One. And I was just like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Halo 5. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was my whole dream, literally. I, I entered this giveaway, and I saw that I was getting Xbox One, and then, like, it flashed, it and then it was at the door, and then it flashed, and then it was set up, and then I was like, and then the dream ended. <laughs> Dude, this reminds me, I had, a, like, a dream a long time ago. This is when the Wii was still out, but for some reason, I had this dream that a GameCube was underneath my bed, <laughs> and I, I woke up, I looked underneath my bed, and there was no GameCube, so I was kind of disappointed. I love how you were like... Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> Let me look. I didn't run downstairs and open my door going, Xbox One? Oh. <laughs> I was a kid. I mean, come Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. But um, so my topic that isn't news. There is this guy named I. Jenner who is, oh, yeah. like, really awesome. He's a cool dude. I watched, like, a past broadcast on his uh, Twitch stream. And he basically, he saw me on Twitch and he, like, reached out. He, he streams, and he also has a YouTube channel. And he's actually, like, growing. Like, people are jo- – like, my problem with Twitch, the reason I stopped doing Twitch is because, right. like I, – I mean, it is yeah, kind of a lot of else. work. It's a lot of work, yeah. and it's a, the work is perfectly fine when it's justified. Like, I would – I got – when I first started streaming, I would have people enter. They would leave sometimes. Sometimes they would stay in chat and follow and all that stuff. But – I basically, like, just in the last month, I think it was in, like, November, I just wasn't getting anyone even coming in. 
Like no right. one would even come in. Like you know, people would come in and leave, but in November they didn't. No one even came in. Like grunge yeah, showed up like that. once like... a week, and that was it. So I was like, it was like I wasn't even streaming. So I just sort of stopped because I'm like, this isn't even doing anything. But um, right. I started the other day because I wanted to test OBS out, and I had a I had a decent amount of fun. You know, Yesel showed up, right. uh, Grunt showed up, and then uh, it was nice to talk to Grunt and whatnot. And he said he, he missed me streaming, so I might continue to stream a little bit. Yeah. But um, it might not be every day. But J- I Jenner popped in, and he said, hey. And he was like, dude, you have really good quality. You talk to your chat. You definitely deserve more viewers. So he was like, you should get Black Ops 2 on PC, and we'll play zombies together. So I'm going to do that. We're going to do that sometime soon. That's awesome. I'm just throwing that out there for like people that, uh, you know, yeah. if you want to watch, I will be streaming soon. And, like, right. the cool thing is, is that this really gives me an excuse because Black Ops Zombies, or Call of Duty Zombies used to be my freaking jam. I love that so much. Right. It, was, it was awesome. So it was, like, one of my favorite games or things to do in gaming. I played Zombies for, like, a year. Like, when Black Ops was fully out, I just played Zombies, basically. After, like, a month of playing multiplayer, I just went and played Zombies for, like, a year. But, um... Yeah. I missed all of the z- extra maps on Black Ops 2. Like, I DLC. played Transit. Yeah, DLC. Because I didn't have the season pass. I played Transit. I sort yeah, of liked Transit. It wasn't horrible, but there were, like, a lot of changes that I was just like, why would they do this? I don't understand. And then, But Transit was, sadly, like, the best one out of all of them. You know, Transit yeah. was the best one out of all three. And then you had... I agree. And then you had Farm, which was... I can't remember my holdup with Farm. There was Farm, and then there was, like, a diner. I had a really... I had a problem with Farm. I don't remember what it was, though. I think it might have just been that it was way I too small. I didn't like Farm because... Actually, the, yeah, Farm was way too small. The chest spawns were, like, really uh, obscure. Like yeah. you had to go inside the buildings, and then you would be, like, cornered. Yeah, it's because it was way too small. The whole thing was super yeah, small. Was... And then it was, like, smaller than 5. It was kind of my problem with 5. And then then you had Town, which had fire all over the place. So it stopped. Yeah. It was like they literally just put something to stop your train. Like, really? You have to jump over these every time? And jumping stops your train, too. It's not like, it's not like that helps. So I, it really annoyed me because I couldn't find... Yeah anything that i i mean i played like i played all three i decided to like transit best and then just because of the fact that i really liked call of duty zombies back in the day i played transit until i got to like level 30 or something and then i stopped i was like okay i'm good (laughs) i got my high i got my high round on my favorite call of duty black ops 2 zombie map and then i stopped and i didn't have the season pass because i was playing a bunch of other games so this Minecraft. gives me an excuse. Yeah, Minecraft was probably in there, dude. That was probably around that time. But uh, then I just I just stopped. So this gives me an excuse to go back and play the uh, Season Pass maps. I heard yep. that the last Season Pass map, Origins, is like one of the best, if not the best. So I'm really excited about that one. But hmm. I found Black Ops 2 on G2A.com for 15 bucks. What's crazy is that I can't find the really? Season Pass for cheaper than 50, for 15 bucks or cheaper the season pass is like more expensive than the game which yeah. is weird but i'm gonna get that probably on monday and hopefully we can do that sometime this week me and i jenner i've been talking to him on twitter so yeah tune in twitch.tv slash games um we have more news here S- big yeah. news spidey Spooderman spidey. is coming to the marvel cinematic <laughs> universe Whoa. welcome home Spooderman. How does it feel? Hopefully not all wet and sticky, like your no. <laughs> webs. I uh, thought I was gonna say something else, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man okay. is coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The deal with S- Marvel went to Sony and made a deal where they were offering to buy Spider-Man and like all the rights and whatnot for like a billion dollars or something obscure and. Th- Marvel and Sony just said, no, this is what we're going to do. So basically, Marvel is leasing Spider-Man 
So they are. Is it getting a new car? <laughs> yeah, it's they're basically taking Spider-Man. Like Sony still owns Spider-Man, but Sony gave Marvel the rights to have Spidey in there in a movie and then in a Sony movie. Then after that, I don't know what the deal is. I think that's all they have planned right now. But I hope they continue to let him be in Marvel stuff. But basically, it's so he's going to be in probably Captain America Civil War. And then he's going to go in a Sony movie with the same Spider-Man. And it'll be in the same universe. But Sony's going to make the movie. And it cost nothing. That was the deal. So Marvel (laughs) paid nothing to get Spider-Man for a movie. Which is obscure to me. Zero dollars for a movie that and a Illuminati. thing that will make them millions of dollars. But um yeah, dude, Spider-Man Andrew Garfield is recast, which is kind yeah. of sad because Andrew Garfield was really good as Spider-Man, but it makes sense cuz you got to, you know, you got to do stuff. Um apparently they already have people in the running for Spider-Man. They have one guy named Dylan O'Brien I think. And then another Logan Lerman no is also in the running. Um, who is the guy who played Percy Jackson in the awful Percy Jackson movies. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all the people they have that yeah. they're talking about at least. Apparently the Dylan O'Brien guy, like some kid asked him at a con if he could be any superhero, what would it be? And he was just like, Spider-Man, immediately. Spider-Man. <laughs> Yes. So <laughs> apparently he wants to do it. So that'd be, I don't know. I'd rather have him because I have, pers- I have a personal grudge against Logan Lerman, even though the movie wasn't his fault. It's a horrible yeah. movie. It, he should have maybe, refused to be a part of it. Maybe he can, maybe he can, he can redeem himself. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I don't know if anything can redeem him. Well, nothing can redeem oh. those writers. But him... Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, but the thing is, Logan could have read the books and understood, oh, wow, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would have, too, because, man. He probably didn't read the books. They probably were just like, okay, Logan, there's this you thing know... about fantasy. Go. <laughs> Dude, you know what's weird to me is that the uh, Alexandra Daddario, the girl who plays Annabeth in that, is, yeah. like, freaking, she read the books, and she still agreed to what? do the movie doesn't make any sense you want to know people i'm just gonna rage about the percy jackson for movie for a bit you want to know how old the girl who played annabeth is want to you want to know eric do you want to know want to know 13 the girl the actor the oh, actress, 23 the actress is 28 years old and oh, she's supposed to be playing a 12 year old girl oh yeah okay i know doesn't I know make any talking. sense <laughs> the guy uh, who plays uh guy who plays grover is 30 and he's supposed to be 12 (sighs) wow okay then yeah i i really hate that movie anyways moving on eric what do you want to talk about next we have actually Um, a decent amount of stuff here that happened i feel like i know what you're gonna guess what you're really yeah Okay, well, no, I was going to talk about the Guild Wars 2 writer. Oh, wow, that is not what I guessed. Dang it. I guess but we're going to talk what about... You would yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, well... We'll go to that. Okay. okay, let's talk about Guild Wars 2. John Ryan. Go ahead. Yeah, John Ryan. Uh, John Ryan is a writer, one of the lead writers, I'm assuming, for Probably. Guild Wars 2, um, which is MMO, if you didn't know. And he's leaving... Uh, Arena Net is that the name of his? The company? That's what it says here. Yeah. Um, for he's going to Bungie to uh, probably work on future expansions and the Story next game and all that. Yeah. It, his what he said in the tweet is I'll be heading over to tomorrow. He tweeted out tomorrow's my last day here at he Arena works. Net. Next week I'll be yeah. Next week I'll be heading over to Bungie to be their new editor slash lore master. That's an awesome title. That, yeah, yeah, dude. That's 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 what the IGN article said. It was like is, the title of the article was "Is this not the most awesome title you've ever heard?" And then you click it, and it's this story, editor slash lore master. That is amazing. So, 
John Ryan, if you're listening to us right now, I want to make a plea. You're awesome. You're awesome. Make the story presentable in the game. Like, and the, the story Lord, of the thorn the and the last the guardian. As well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where I was going with this. Like, the story of the, thor- the thorn story and all that of the dudes and whatnot. Right. I haven't read it, but I've heard it's awesome. Uh, that, like, why isn't that in the game? This yeah, isn't on story- you because you weren't at Bungie at the time. But, like, yeah. take all that awesome stuff in the Grimoire and Make present it. In the game, <laughs> and simple. It's, it sounds simple. And then also, I mean, you're probably not in charge of this, but I would really love if you could, like, you know, make the grim more readable in game. I would right. love to do that. Put it in the freaking lounge. Put it in the bar. Like yeah. that. That's that's really what I want to do. You go up to like a bookcase or something. Yeah. And... Yeah, dude. Uh, aren't there already bookcases in that yeah. like bar? Just literally oh, make what? a whole square and then add an interface. Right. So that's what I've wanted. I thought it would be awesome to be in that bar. But um yeah, John Ryan. Let's hope that he's a force of good. Let's hope that he balances yeah. the force and he doesn't leave it in in the dark right. or whatever See, the okay, quote is. Like I told you guys on um a Facebook in the chat about how like the Vex Mytho class is a, a weapon that like when you shoot it, it goes through time. The bolt like goes through time. That's how it f- fires like rapidly mm, because it's a Vex Smith. And like the bad? idea, and you know how it's made for humans. People thinking that uh, Osiris took the gun into the Vault of Glass to finish it, and he finished it, but he died or something like that. See, this and... sounds so awesome. Right. Why did we have to read Grimoire to come up with this? Right. Doesn't make any sense. Like this sounds so awesome. If I had seen that in a cutscene, right. oh my gosh, I would have freaked out. So seriously, John like, Ryan, what if we got to run the Vault of Glass with Kabar as he was going down the Vault of Glass and no. failed? Man, <laughs> oh man, like I really, I really, oh baby, oh baby, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm looking at the. Um, what is it? Yeah, I'm gonna look at the thing for the Mythic class, the Grimoire card. I'm gonna skim it real quick and see if I can find what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, John Ryan, really, just, just make it presentable. I can't find the Grimoire card, but make it presentable, and we'll love you forever. Cause I, the story right now in the Grimoire cards are awesome. They're, it's great, yeah. but nobody knows about it. So. Just, uh, you know, be your awesome bad self, and we'll be good. So let's see. I will do the next topic, because you did the last one, and this is probably one that you want to talk about. Bethesda, the creator, the publisher, and creator, I think, of Fallout games, Elder Scrolls games, all sorts of stuff, um, they Uh, announced (coughs) that they are going to hold their first E3 news conference this year so they normally are always at e3 and all that but this year they're actually having a conference like all about them like every year playstation has a conference xbox has a conference um ubisoft and ea it's usually like that nintendo used to but they didn't last year but it's it's usually those people but Let's see if I can... I'm going to try and bring this picture. That does a lot of stuff, too. They cover a lot of stuff because they're also a publisher, <clears throat> as well as a developer. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah. Obsidian Games works with them as well. This is... Uh, developer. <clears throat> Owen S. Good wrote this article on Polygon. Um, the picture was sent out to a lot of people in the industry through their business emails. And it says... it. It has a picture of, like, a giant hall giant conference hall and it says we're almost ready for our close-up save the date june 14th 2015 hollywood california bethesda boom so people are you know excited they're like as soon as this was announced everyone was like fallout 4 yes that's what happened Fallout 4 elder scrolls 6 um or it could be something new which we or could be dishonored too 
Dishonored also, 2, I would be, I would be okay a, with that. Dude, you need to play Dishonored. I do, awesome. I want to. I think I was, I think... It's amazing. I, did I buy it when it was on sale on Steam? I, I think I meant to at one point. I meant to, like, I saw it for like 13 bucks and I was gonna get it. I don't know if I it's did. It's just a first person action. I didn't. Ekin slash almost. Kind yeah, of. I know. It sounds like something I would really like. Yeah. So, I was, I just oh, missed it. Now that I think about it, it's almost like, it's like a... It's like Dying Light, only a little bit more fantasies. Yeah, it came out at a weird time, if I remember correctly, so I just missed it. Yeah, but... it was back in 2011, I think. 2010. I think it's 12. I think it was 2012. 12? I might have been 12. So, I'm gonna figure it out, because I wanna... Yeah, no, it came out at a decent time. I just didn't buy it, I guess. I don't know. But uh, it came out at October game. 9th, 2012. Yeah, it was fall yeah. game. But, um... Yeah, I just didn't get it. But... The thing is with this is that they wouldn't have a whole press conference just for one game. Right. Just for one announcement. Which so, means they could announce Fallout multiple. 4. And Elder Scrolls 6. Elder Scrolls 6. And Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2. And then some new IPs. Like, honestly, that's kind of what I'm if expecting. If they did that, I would probably flip. The internet would crash. That um, is that is a bit what I'm expecting. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna lie. Like I shouldn't expect this because that's mm -hmm. high expectations. But you I think they'll be new IP high... definitely though. Yeah, they set high expectations with a whole press conference. Like pre PlayStation's press conference lasts like an hour and a half, two hours every year. Like this, this isn't gonna be like thirty minutes. Well, as you know? I think they're also gonna like. It might be short. Some... It's gonna be shorter because it's uh, PlayStation. But right, I think they're gonna have some like. Uh... Stuff about Elder Scrolls Online mm. uh, in there, too. Probably. Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. Actually, they Tamriel. might not, because I think that comes out for console, like, Well, I was thinking maybe they have an expansion. Yeah, they might talk about the expansion. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking... Speaking of Elder Scrolls Online, let's just discuss it. We discussed it last week, but I don't know if we said the release date. I'm kind of sad about it, but it it's is... probably for the best. Cause it... June 9th. Like, no attention. June 9th. It's so, like a couple days after or before again. Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. I'm looking yeah, I at... I think you already talked about it, but if you don't already know, uh, Elder Scrolls Online is getting... I think they're renaming it into Terminal Unlimited. Yeah. And uh, it's one by... Play yeah, as much as you want. I'm which sure awesome. cosmetic purchases, which is fine. The I question is, how thing. much is it? Because if it's forty bucks, I might get it. To be totally honest, but if it's sixty, I'm not getting it. I'm gonna do it. Elder Scrolls Online, Tim Real, Unlimited, and price. Um, yeah, I really hope that there is a, a lot of stuff announced. I hope they announce this under 2, Fallout 4, and Elder Scrolls. Honestly, if they announce all three of those, I, it's it's over. The internet explodes, yeah. like, more than anything ever be has like been. Pro it's gonna be basically, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, like, Half-Life 3, basically. Half -Life 3, yeah. It's gonna be on the par of when the PlayStation conference happened. When, like, the... I can't remember the guy's name. He came out on stage, and, you know, this was when all the rumors about Microsoft, and they... Then they... All the rumors about the always online and all that. Right. And then they came out on stage and basically confirmed all the rumors. And then PlayStation comes out on stage and was like... Bam, bam, bam. You can use your... You can sell your games. You can let your friend borrow your Lend game. Your and game. it'll yeah. be this. And you can do this. And then you can do this. And then it is starting at... Three hundred ninety nine dollars, and like at each point, everyone's like, "Oh, oh, oh!" <laughs> it's like freaking UFC oh, fight. Yeah, that was like one of the best E three. That was probably my favorite E three memory ever. That was so good. That was awesome. But it's gonna be basically that level of freaking out. It. Oh. Yeah. I I hope they do that. Because no. if not, I'm a, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. But uh, yeah, Bethesda. Hosting a being bold. So we have two more uh, pieces of news. I'm going to talk about this one, and you can talk about the last one. There. Oh, Before you uh, 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 This one. You'll see. What? 
You'll see. I was going to say something about but Bethesda real fast. Okay. Um, Bethesda also published um, The Evil Within, so they might release like a sequel. Mm. Or something. I don't know. I didn't. I did. I did not know that they published that. Okay. They published it, but some some Japanese developed yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Not okay. Have cool. Game. Yeah, they published a lot of stuff, like not just all the the core right. Elder Scrolls and Fallout that people think. But um. Bingo Game Works. No, okay. Good for those guys. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um. Okay. Anyway. The Assassin's Creed movie is officially in production. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Yeah. It's a it's an article on Gamespot. By wait for it. By Eddie McCook, Macuk, yeah Macuk. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> a film starring Michael Fassbender to start shooting soon ahead of release in December 2016. So it has started shooting. It has entered production and all that, and the, it is supposed to come out next year in December. So Do they get smoke bombed. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't get smoke bombed and have to push the release back. But um to be honest, I I have about like if a if a video game movie is to work, like I'm I I hate to say I it cuz I sound like I'm being a fanboy, but like if a video game idea is going to work for a movie, like it would be Assassin's Creed. I'm going to say that yeah. right now. Like in- Assassin's Creed is so vague. They can do whatever they want with that. They can make up their own story, or they can go back and tell Ezio. Because Ezio is one of the best characters of all time. Yeah, I freaking right. said it. So they, uh, they, they can do whatever they want. So, like, just the backdrop of the Assassins versus Templars throughout history, I still say is one of the, like, one of the best concepts ever. So yeah. that into a movie. I have hope for this. But I'm not expecting it to be good. That's all I'm going to say. Right. But, I mean, Michael Fassbender, there's a couple other people working on it that are uh, big names. Let's I see. just wonder. Um, no, I can't find it. I wonder who's going to be parkour guy. Oh, well, that's a good question. That's a good question. Is, is it going to go, like, full-on Prince of Persia yeah. movie style? Where they just, like, do oh. awesome stunts and whatnot? Dude, Dude. a lot Did of... You never played Prince of Persia. Yeah, I have. I just never beat him, but I've played him. <laughs> what was that? I love those games as much as you love Assassin's Creed. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I went back and played them, like, last year for my birth. Or it was either last year or two years ago. For my birthday, Clayton got me the Prince of Persia collection. Oh. Yes, or trilogy or whatever. <laughs> what? It's for a PS3. You know, I never got to play the um, the Third. middle one and the far right one. Yeah, I can't reach my finger off. <laughs> yeah, one. I never got to play those two, though. So, so oh, you I only played, played the, the Sands of Time? Design. What? You only played the Sands of Time? I played Sands of Time, which is awesome because you would, like, knock them down and stab them with the, the dagger, and then they would be dead. Oh, I remember that. It was good stuff. And then there was lots of parkour and wall running did you play warrior within or the two thrones neither okay i All played right. the newer version if i could lend this to you what? prince of persia it was literally oh, just okay. called persia. and there was also a, a one before those three. Oh, interesting but um yeah he got those for me and it was it it was it was too late like yeah i didn't i didn't have much fun with them i i had a decent amount of fun until i got to a part where i got stuck on and i'm like this isn't worth it it's, it's yeah. very old the camera's pretty janky but to be honest like this is kind of an excuse that i said this when i originally started streaming but this is one of the things i want to do with streaming is i i just want to you know maybe i'll pick a day and i'll just go through the original prince of persia's because i can do that i can pick yeah. a saturday but and just go through it all day i really liked the prince of persia movie yeah, I did too. It wasn't a lot of people hated it because they thought it was inaccurate, which it was. But like as a movie, it was a good for, movie. Yeah, for what it was, it was good. The the uh, I mean, this dagger did what exactly I think it what did, it was supposed to right? do. Yeah. So I mean, the it dagger made sense. was fine. The dude, they didn't like they 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 
they changed like all the characters in the family and whatnot. Like it's not at all. Um, like like let's say the main character has a brother, but right. in the movie it's like a cousin. <laughs> That's just an example. Yeah. It's it's stuff like that. And like they right. miss and they go full on Avatar the Last Airbender style where they like mispronounce everybody's name for just no mm-hmm. reason. But um I liked it as a movie. But I Who's had never had like loved the um the original stuff, so I don't know. Oh no! But yeah, I don't know. I might do that one day. I might go through it and try, try and go through it. It's awesome. I need to get back to playing PS3. It's, games. Like, it's, it's like the Tomb Raider. I have, of, dude. Uh, I have so screen. much in my like backlog of PS3 games. <laughs> like I went back on my <laughs> PS3 the other day and looked. Bioshock Infinite. Yep. Tomb Raider. Yep. Freaking oh, yep. and you know it was free a couple of it was either last month or a couple yeah. of months ago. Um, the Hitman collection. Yeah. Every Hitman game. So I have all those. Um <laughs> this is insane. I have a lot of PS3 games that I can play. And uh Prince of Persia, I can do that. Sly Cooper, I could continue with that. I got the freaking yeah. Sly collection that I never beat. What? <laughs> I need a PS3. <laughs> I played I played one. You do, dude. I bet you should wait until after E3. How awesome would it be if they uh, drop the price on a PS3 and get one for like a hundred bucks? You should, oh, you should see if that's possible. But uh, you got the Thievius Raccoonus. I beat that one, but I, I'm somewhere in the middle of a slide too, and I just, I don't know. The oh, open man. world was a little. Odd. I loved Sly so much that was my Thievius game Raccoonus was awesome. That was. I loved really my PS2. Good. I don't yeah, know why dude. I switched it for Xbox, but I don't regret it because yeah. now I, you know, I played Halo. Yeah. And Halo's a big part of my childhood. I well. feel you. But, um... I had both. Yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. I wish I knew back in the day to have both. I wish I knew now to have both, but I don't have enough money. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, I'm going to go apply. So that first place I applied at for a job, I yeah. am... Doesn't look like I'm getting anything there because their staff is, like, full. But... Right. I am going to apply to Publix. I was going to do it tomorrow, but then the uh, there's apparently supposed to be, like, heavy snow tomorrow. Oh, so I'm just gee. not going to do that tomorrow. I'll do it on Tuesday when the, when the roads are decent. Um, then hopefully I can start making money. Because literally, you know, my, my parents were, like, helping me with some money. Like, I was doing a bunch of stuff around the house and, like, cutting the yard and doing – and, like, dusting everything and Insane doing everything I could. Work. Um, and they were giving me a decent amount of money to like pay off my car and, um, cause I couldn't legally get a job. I've said this before to people who watch. Yeah. Um, so they were helping me out there and it, and it was enough to buy a couple of games to keep a little bit of income. But now, like if I want, let's say something big, like a Vita, <laughs> if I want the order, not going to be able to get the order without moving $60 from savings to spending. So, yeah. Mm. Which I can do. But uh, I just don't like doing it. But... Yeah. Yeah. So that's a thing. Um, so that's why I'm trying to get a job as fast as possible because I don't have money. I don't know... I don't know how you do it, mate. You has got that money coming in. It's just... Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Dude. I don't know how you do it. I just, I just like accumulate it somehow. It gets to me, and I just you spend it. I, you just yolo spend it. I got nothing else to spend it on. I honestly don't. Yeah. So. If I got a job, dude, I would honestly like try and save up to get an Xbox One. <laughs> like I really and I Wii U. Like eventually, now. I want all three consoles. I want all three. I want to be able to play everything. I want to be able to play <laughs> Mega Man Two on the SNES. I want oh, to be able to awesome. freaking play Halo Five, but. I don't know. Yeah. Like I listen I listen to almost all IGN podcasts now. Like I listen to podcasts beyond, which is makes sense because right. I'm a PlayStation yeah. guy. But I also listen to podcasts unlocked. Which doesn't make any sense because I don't have an Xbox, but it makes me want <laughs> one. But yeah. Don't forget Fire Team Chat. Well, I was just mentioning the uh, I also listen to IGN <laughs> Arena and Fire Team Chat, so I don't even play MOBAs. How but... many podcasts does IGN have? I mean, come uh, on. After that, there's a movie one, and then there is a – there's one – there's a UK one, and then there is a – Gosh. <laughs> there's a Nintendo Australian. one. Australian. 
Oh, is there? Thing? I don't know. I think I, think I heard some about it. I, don't know I sure. think that's it. There might be a comic one. I don't know. Um, Eric, le- do you, did you know that people have been laid off in the new yeah. Daybreak Game Studio that uh, you know bought Sony and online entertainment? Yeah. People have been laid off for EverQuest. But why? It's, it's very sad. But, but yeah, yeah, it's true. There have been layoffs in the EverQuest studio. Yeah. Uh, they're probably... Maybe they're trying to find um, people who are better qualified, maybe? I don't know. For those positions? Most or of the time, maybe they're short when they on... lay off people in the game industry, I have heard that it's basically like they are trying a different type of project and they need people with that experience. Like, these people right. have been working on this type of combat or whatever maybe right. they're trying to what do type of combat bunch of them, really. yeah. uh, they were like okay well we need to hire people who know how to work with playstation console so yeah. we can work on this dude i remember that back in like 2010 back when like uh halo 3 odst came out it was like 2009 or 2010 and on their website they had uh an do you want to work for bungie if you have experience with um playstation uh, sign up or nice. uh, you know send an application nice so that's how we knew they were making something back then cool they also teased destiny back in halo 3. yeah it was it was in development forever um yeah. let's cool. see in a statement to ign daybreak spokesperson michael K- kagel kagel sure said the movie is a str- the move is a strategic decision to rationalize the biz- the business so that's it so I'm sure those are talented people. If they've been working on EverQuest, they've been there for a long time. They have a lot of experience. They'll they'll land on their feet. Good luck to all them. Um, I have to go very soon, so I'm going to quickly cover two things. Boom. The flash sale. There is a Valentine's flash sale going on on oh, PlayStation. Sure. That's what it says. Um, it ends... Gosh dang it. Every time I say this, it... I, you know what? This doesn't even count because it ends tomorrow when you're going to be listening yeah, to this. Right. So GG. Well, you know, it's something I can cover. The Drop, Ryan Clements, the PlayStation powerhouse over here. Uh, he has made The Drop like he does every week. I'm going to cover this every podcast from now on. I thought it'd be cool. Some way to wrap up the show. Stuff coming to your PlayStation console this Tuesday is Dead Man's Cross on Vita, Dead or Alive 5 last round. That's actually like a pretty cool fighting game hand of fate for ps4 um the order 1886 ps4 but that hits on friday and not um Tuesday. i had a question about uh, order um when does the embargo thursday morning okay, okay. thursday morning uh it might be thursday night but it's thursday uh which is good that's a good sign they believe in their game they're putting the embargo yeah. before the game releases paparazzi right. for the ps4 Uh, It is a two-player game of cat and mouse. The celebrity runs, dashes, and hides while the paparazzi tries to take constant photos of him. (laughs) That looks kind of fun, to be totally honest. It plays Um, Kanye West. Oh, yeah, mate. (laughs) Because you know that I'm a gay fish. Um, (laughs) Pillar for PS4. Qbert Rebooted, which is like a really classic game. Um, Treasures of Montezuma Arena for PS3. Uh, Qbert rebooted as PS4, PS3, and Vita. Digital three-way cross-buy. Oh, three ways. Um, three. three ways. Whoa. Three. Um, <laughs> Trivial Pursuit Live for PS4 and PS3. And that is it. There's a yep. pillar demo. Thank you, Ryan Clements. We are out of here for the week. Tune into my Twitch stream this week. Tune into Eric's Stuff. life. I, I stream randomly. Yeah, he does. That's true. Tune uh, into his Twitter. You should I use it more have, often. You know. Yeah, I do look at my Twitter more often now. I, I might it. put your. I'll put. I'll try and remember to put your Twitter in the description. Yeah. So. And, um, yeah, Eric, you know what to do. Wrap us up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have some uh, IBC root beer. Oh IBC. snap! Yeah, oh it's snap! Just root beer. Nice, dude. And it has twist off cap because I'm. Ooh, nice. I'm not a real man. Because no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a real man. Um, yeah. I'm. I'm very impressed that you never, like, bring repeats. You'll do it next week accidentally. But you never bring repeats. Yeah. That, that root beer, you've never shown a root beer. This is professionalism. No. I, showed, I showed a Coca-Cola, yeah. which is the closest thing to this. But All right, well, 
See you guys next week. I'm going to click the off button. Goodbye.